Land of the free, home of the brave. That's what makes the United States. Now let's take a journey with the spirit of freedom. Liberty will lead the way. Let's take a star, spangled adventure. Star, spangled adventure. All the things you'd want to know about America's in the show. So come on, all you patriots, let's go. I'm here again at Independence Hall in Philadelphia. Remember what happened here? It's where the Declaration of Independence was signed and America's Constitution was debated. I'm here next to the State House Bell. You probably know it better as the Liberty Bell. Here in 1865, the Liberty Bell has become the symbol of freeing the slaves in America by abolishing slavery. Slavery is owning another person to force them to do something like hard work for free. Slaves were kidnapped from the shores of Africa and brought to the colonies that became America. So, did America invent slavery? Oh, indeed not! You see, since the start of all history, people have always had moral problems like murder, stealing, and slavery. The word slave comes from the word Slav, which is what Eastern Europeans were called in the Middle Ages. But the Slavs were enslaved by the Ottoman Empire, and that's how we got the word slave. But slaves were also way before that. We have records of slavery from about 6,000 BC in Mesopotamia. And you might remember how Moses in the Bible led the Israelite slaves out of Egypt around 1400 BC. We're going to see now how America and Europe fought to end slavery by first remembering all our stories of America so far. When Columbus arrived, the Taino people were in danger of becoming slaves, not by Columbus and the Europeans, but by other regional tribes. Many saw Columbus as a protector from slavery. When the Declaration of Independence was being debated, Thomas Jefferson had written a portion against slavery, but some delegates opposed it. To get all the colonies to support the Revolution and Declaration, it was decided to deal with slavery later. That later became the time to write the Constitution. But because of the divisive strong opinions on slavery and the need to get the Constitution approved by all the states, they again decided to deal with slavery later. Much of Europe was debating slavery, and most thought it would die out on its own. But they were wrong. It took America fighting a civil war to keep the southern states from becoming their own nation, where they could keep slavery legal. President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. But that was just a presidential executive order. A new president after Lincoln could easily cancel it and make slavery legal again. America needed to make slavery illegal everywhere in the country for all time. America's constitution needed an amendment, which is a new addition. That would outlaw slavery. Lawmakers drafted the 13th Amendment, but the Senate, House of Representatives, and then every state had to approve it. Well, we must talk about this vote tomorrow on this repugnant 13th Amendment. Well, I have a pressing appointment right now, and I have... Well, I need to know you're going to vote against this blasted 13th Amendment. Well, I've been studying the amendment, and... Uh, the people in each state need to decide whether to have slaves or not. Oh, indeed, your opinions on the matter are on the public record. You've made them quite clear, and... Here's what's clear. If you vote I tomorrow, and not stand with me, then you can't count on my support, ever, for anything. The Thirteenth Amendment will make slavery illegal across the whole country. Will this Thirteenth Amendment get enough I or yes votes? And will America truly be a country where all people are free? Deep within our hearts, we know what's right, we know what's true. We 
should all be free Everyone from me to you No man's a slave to a master So undo the chains of the matter Let freedom ring Across the land, across the sea Let freedom ring Because we stand for liberty Let freedom ring 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 I hope you remember our little talk Wood! Nay! The amendment is very close to not passing Nay means no to freeing slaves I means to pass the 13th amendment and free the slaves Brown? I. Then Later that year, in 1865, the states ratified the 13th Amendment and it became law. It took America some time, but slavery was abolished. Over the next few years, the 14th Amendment was ratified, which made anyone born in the U.S. to be citizens, even ex-slaves. Then the 15th Amendment gave the right to vote to any male over 21 years old, even ex-slaves. Oh, but wait, does that mean that no woman had the right to vote? Well, that's right. That's another thing that it took America a while to change. But we did. However, that's a story for another time. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring.